Hi. In this little clip we're going to be looking at the dimensions of a cuboid and various lines and angles within it. First of all, if I want to find the length of that line AC, which is the diagonal of the base of the cuboid, how do I work that out? Well, let's isolate the triangle that it's in and notice that it's a right angle triangle, so we can use the Pythagoras rule. And that's fairly straightforward. AC squared is 5 squared plus 2 squared, which is 25 plus 4, which is 29, and so AC is the square root of 29. Now the calculator will tell you that to three significant figures that's 5.39. So we've got root 29 or 5.39 as our length of AC. Suppose now we want to look at a different line. Let's look at AG, which is the diagonal going through the centre of the cuboid. Well, once again, it's in a right angle triangle. And if we isolate that triangle and look at it by itself, it's got a height of 3, but uh, its base is root 29 or 5.39. So, We've got two ways of calculating it. We can use either of those values. Root 5.3 uh, square root of 5.39 squared plus 3 squared. 6.17 to 3 significant figures. Or we can use the value root 29. Now when you square root 29 you just get 29. So AG becomes the square root of 29 plus 9, which is the square root of 38, which the calculator will tell you is 6.16. Not quite the same. Let's just have a look at those two values. Those are our two calculations. On the left is when we use 5.39, we get 6.17. But on the right, when we use root 29, we get 6.16. Now, which is the better? Well, think about it. We've rounded on the left twice to get that answer. First to get 5.39 and second to get 6.17. So there are two roundings there. But on the right we've only rounded once, giving 6.16. Now only one rounding is better. And so I'm going to mark that one as correct and that one as incorrect. As a general principle, in a calculation with more than one step you should round your answers only once, if possible, right at the end. In other words, leave any rounding till the end of the calculation. OK, let's move on to start talking about some angles. This time I'm looking at the angle BAC within the cuboid, and I've isolated the triangle that that's in. And because it's an angle, and it's a right angle triangle, we're going to be using trigonometry to do the calculation and so if we start off by labeling which is the opposite to the angle which is the adjacent and which is the hypotenuse OAH there they are now we can use either the sine which is opposite over hypotenuse this over that or the cos which is this over that and that's fine providing we're confident about these answers, but these have been calculated by us. Isn't it better to use the two values that you're given in the question, because you know they're right, you know you haven't made any mistakes, and so we've got uh, opposite divided by adjacent, which is the tan ratio. So, angle BAC is the inverse tan, or the shift tan, of 2 divided by 5. The calculator tells us that's 21.8 degrees when we round it to three significant figures. Now, let's look at another angle right in the middle of the cuboid, angle CAG. How do we calculate that? Well, once again, we've got a hypotenuse. So we label them OAH again. We've got a hypotenuse of root 38 or 6.16, a base of root 29 or 5.39, and a height of 3. Now, opposite of 3. Which of these two we use? We're going to have to use one of them. 
Well, it's better to use the one that uh, we calculated first, because we might have made an error in the second calculation. So I'm going to use uh, the value here, root 29 or 5.39. Which of those two am I going to use? Well, I'm going to use the more accurate one, which is, or the exact one, which is root 29. And let the calculator take the strain, because the calculator can handle that calculation uh, very well, giving us an answer of 29.1 degrees rounded to three significant figures.